The battle to claim the Libyan desert town of Beni Walid on Saturday took a detour as rebels withdrew from the location as NATO began air raids, according to Al Arabiya's correspondent. A NATO official, however, denied having told opposition fighters to retreat from Beni Walid in preparation for airstrikes. The National Transitional Council had set a deadline for Saturday, which gave pro Qaddafi fighters the choice to surrender or face attacks. They said Saturday they withdrew their fighters from Beni Walid for tactical reasons. The nullification of the ceasefire means that the six month conflict has entered its concluding phases. In the meantime, Britain plans to soon hand in a drafted resolution to the United Nations on easing sanctions against Libya and establishing a mission in the country. Fighting also broke out in Qaddafi's hometown Sirt. The coastal city, along with the remote desert town of Sabha, are one of the main areas still under Gaddafi's control. Meanwhile, in the rebel hub of Benghazi, a predominantly female demonstration took place on Friday, as hundreds gathered demanding a quicker end to the corruption the country has been plagued with for decades. Moreover, they stressed that the success of the revolution wasn't religiously influenced. On the same day, thousands gathered in the capital, Tripoli, in the newly renamed Marcher Square, calling for unity amongst Libyans. Nora Faraj, Al Arabiya.